Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. And today I want to talk about searching in Dicts part two. Why part two? Because about a week or two ago, I put up a video telling you how you should and should not search for keys in a dictionary. And much of what I said was right, but much of what I said was also wrong. And I want to come back to these topics and talk about them. So let's start off with what I said. I said D equals A10, B20, C30. So I have a dictionary here, and I want to find out, is a particular key in the dict? And so I said the best way to do this is to say A in D. In other words, I'm going to use the in operator, and I'm going to search in the dictionary. I'm going to get back true. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, nothing is wrong with that. In fact, that is the preferred idiomatic way to search for a key in a dict. But I often, often see people say A in D dot keys. It feels more natural to them. Typically, they're newcomers to Python. It feels more natural to them to search in the keys. And this will give you the same result, but it's just not considered as clean, as nice, as idiomatic. Now, what's going on here? Well, basically, when you run the in operator, that activates a method inside of the dictionary that searches for a key. And so basically what happens here is the dict invokes the hash function, which is used to determine where things are stored in a dictionary, jumps to the place where A would be, and checks, is it there? Now this is a simplified version of what's going on, but this is basically true. And so this searching actually does not take very long at all. It's as fast as can possibly be. And my contention in the previous video was that if you search A in D dot keys, it's going to take a lot longer because here we have to find the method keys and then retrieve a new object with dict keys and then search there. And my contention in the previous video was that the searching there took a long time, that it was basically list-like, that it was what we would call O of N linear time as opposed to O of 1 constant time. And I proved it, and I'm going to put prove in big, big air quotes. I proved that by using time it. If I say time it, A in D, it's not going to take very long. I'm using Jupyter. It says 21.1 nanoseconds. If I say time it, A in D dot keys, in D dot keys, and we'll see that it takes much, much longer. See, I've proven my point. It takes twice as long. You should not search in D dot keys because it takes longer. That part was wrong. That part was wrong. Well, what's wrong about it, right? It looks like it's taking longer, and it is taking longer. But it's taking longer because it's actually doing more than one thing here. And that is the, pardon the pun, that is the key to understanding what happened. So when I say d.keys, yes, we are invoking a method, and there is some overhead to that. But we also, when we invoke d.keys, we're getting back a new object, a dict keys view, or a dict view. And a dict view object is an object because everything in Python is an object. And the allocation of that object is what is taking the time. How do I know this? How can I check? Well, what if I were to, you know, let's separate these two actions. If I say here k equals d.keys, now I've created the keys object. And if I say what is k, dict keys of ABC. And if I say what's the type of k, it's a dict keys object. It is a distinct object in Python. It is known as a view, and it's basically a read-only version of a dictionary. You can think of it as kind of like a mashup between a list and a set. It has a lot of set-like properties, but it's not a set. It's a view. Moreover, if the dictionary changes, so if I say D of X equals 100, so D looks like this, and K, my list of dict keys, look at that. It reflects it. The view is updated automatically. All right, I'm going to get rid of that right now. I'm going to say D um, a pop of X, just so we have equal things here. And now I'm going to say time it of A in K. I'm not searching in D the dictionary. I am searching in the object we got back from calling D.keys without the overhead of creating that object. And how long will that take? And the answer is 20.6 nanoseconds, almost precisely what it did when we looked directly in the dictionary. And so I thank the people who emailed me, contacted me, wrote to me on LinkedIn, on Twitter, and all, all sorts of other places who pointed out that this extra time, the doubling of the time, is not because it's taking longer to search. It's because it's taking longer to create the object and then to search. And the searching is really a tiny part of that. What if we were to make it way, way, way bigger? What if I were to do this? If I say import 
uh, that import string. And I'm going to say here d equals an empty dict. And I'm going to say for one character in string ASCII letters. And I'm going to say for i in range, say 10,000. And I'm now going to say d of one character times, uh, let's say i, equals i. So I'm going to create for each letter 10,000 dict keys and values for that matter. All right, so off we go. And now if I say, what's the len of D? It is 519,949. That's a pretty big dictionary by any standards. Also not very useful. So what if I search in this now? What if I say time it of A in D? How long will that take? And we're gonna see it takes 25.3 nanoseconds. In other words, it takes almost exactly, right before it was taking 20 nanoseconds, 21 nanoseconds, it takes almost exactly the same amount of time to search whether you have three key value pairs or 500,000 key value pairs. And if I search in d.keys, the thing that you should not do, don't do this, it will take longer because it has to allocate that key, uh, that, that, that key view object, right? It's taking double the time like before. And if I say here, k equals d.keys, and then I say a in k, what's gonna happen? Well, it's gonna be similar to what we saw before, 25 nanoseconds. By the way, what happens if I search for something that's not in the dictionary? What well, if I search here for three exclamation points? Does it take a lot longer to search if something's not in the dictionary? And the answer is no, it takes basically the same amount of time. And if I say here in K, this should take the same amount of time as well. So what do we learn from this? First of all, you still should search in a dictionary, not in dictionary.keys. There's almost never any good reason to run dict.keys. There are some, but it's rare. Basically, if you want to get the keys view object so you can treat it as a set and do set operations, but otherwise, I almost never have a reason to do it. Number two is the reason that it's slower to search in d.keys is not because d.keys is inherently slower, not because searching on a dict keys view is slower, but because we're allocating a new object. And number three, and perhaps most salient of all, benchmarking is hard and it's so easy to make mistakes. How do I know? Because I just made a mistake. All right, I hope this video was helpful um, and explains some of the mistakes that I made, also how to go about doing this sort of testing. All comments, questions, and feedback, always welcome. Let me know what you want to learn about Python and Pandas, and I'll be back soon with more videos on those subjects. Thanks so much for watching.